All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It's the Extreme Racing League's development tier round 15 at uh, Circuit of the Americas today. I'm joined in the commentary box by uh, Ocean Lion 08. Uh, race time here in just a few minutes' time. Uh, so we have a very competitive uh, field today. We're going to go ahead and run down the uh, grid real quick. Uh, starting in the Mercedes today, we have XRL Flavor and CVTX Mask. In the uh, Red Bull, we have uh, Giacomo X Chip. Um, in the McLaren, we have Kenzie Retro and Ollie 89. In the Aston Martin starting today, we have XRL Veloce and XRL Zola. In the Alpine, we have X Hits the Spot. In the uh, Ferrari, we have Plastic Love and Mr. Shark. In the Alphatari, we have AKB and uh, Level 6 Beastian. In the Alfa Romeo, we have uh, Punitive Shoe 381. In the Haas, we have uh, Lucky starting today. And in the Williams, we have V8 Irons. Uh, 28 laps uh, scheduled for this race today, uh, full qualifying, 18-minute uh, Q1, 15-minute Q2, and 12-minute uh, Q3. My name is XRL Raptor, and as I said, we will be getting started in uh, just a few minutes' time. Uh, Oceans, uh, what are your predictions for, uh, for uh, potential uh, race winners today? Really can maybe could be a really competitive field, and I think we're going that actually. Yes, and we uh, can see where the uh, grid is starting to ready up. Uh, as far as predictions, I would go so far as to say uh, that uh, XRL Zola is going to beat the uh, beat the P4 uh, P4 curse today, and we're going to say I think we're going to see him on the podium. Uh, with uh, potentially uh, CVTX mask, and I'm going to go ahead and call uh, Ollie as well in the uh, Ollie as well in the McLaren. I think that's going to be our top three. So I've seen a, I've seen a lot of fabulous performances uh, in uh, in recent weeks out of uh, out of these drivers. So I think they I I'm thinking that's the way it's going to go. And uh, for those of you that are just now joining the stream, uh, this is the Extreme Racing League's development tier. If you haven't done so already, already please take a moment to, uh, to follow, the, uh, follow the channel and subscribe as well. It's uh, your subscriptions that, uh, that allow us to continue doing the uh, awesome things that the Extreme Racing Leagues are doing. So if you haven't done so already, uh, please give us a uh, follow, and, uh, follow and subscription. Right, uh, 16 drivers starting out uh, starting out in Q1. We'll go ahead and get uh, telemetry up and going for you. And uh, Gabba, Gabba the Goat in the uh, stream chat saying, uh, let's go Giacomo. Let's see what he's able to, uh, able to accomplish today. Uh, from what I understand, uh, Giacomo, a relatively new name in the, uh, in the Extreme Racing Leagues. It looks like the uh, first of the Alphataris, uh, followed, by a, uh, followed by a Ferrari, and, the, uh, and one of the Aston Martins have come out on circuit. Uh, also seeing the uh, also seeing the uh, Mercedes come out as well. Yeah, there's also, uh, we'll follow. Um, there's also a Haas as well. 
Gotcha. And uh, Mr. Shark uh, being being one of the first drivers out on track. Uh, we're going to go ahead and follow the uh, we're going to go ahead and follow the uh, Aston Martin of uh, XRL Veloce as he uh, as he's on his outlap at the moment, uh, doing what he can to uh, warm up those tires in uh, preparation to start his uh, first hot lap. Also out on track are uh, Mr. Shark, uh, Giacomo, AKB, uh, CVT Mask, and uh, Lucky on track as well. Uh, uh, Punitive just... Shoe. Got that. You can get through me. Uh, AKB, Ali, Giacomo, uh, CVT, Punitive Shoe, Level 6 Beastian, and uh, Lucky out on track. Uh, looks like Lucky's going to be the first one to uh, cross the line to uh, start his flyer. We're going to go ahead and ride on board with him. Punitive Shoe crossing the line to start his hot lap as well, followed by Ollie 89. Uh, the Aston Martin of XRL Veloce now crossing the line to start his hot lap. No way, that's so uh, That's just started his spot. His Veloce and Valde is. Looks like Lucky's going to come around. I'm going to call him for a 133, and it's a 133.276 for Lucky, at the uh, fastest lap of the session thus far. Uh, we're going to come back to uh, come back uh, come back to Veloce as he uh, gets ready to come through this final complex of corners. And actually, we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to uh, level six Beastian uh, AKB now posting a 134.5. I'm sorry, 0.757. Uh, CVT Mask jumping up into P2 with a 134.422 on the medium compound. Uh, Beastian with a 135.375, good enough for P5. Shoe for 1 minute 33797. Ali for 1 minute 33883. Nice with 1 minute 33900. I'll put some in there. Very, uh, yeah. yeah, very, uh, very, si very solid time from, uh, from Zola to, uh, to start, in P start in P4. Uh, Zola, has, uh, Zola has struggled a lot this year with uh, being able to. Uh, being able to uh, get on the get on the podiums, the uh, best finish we've seen from him is a P4, the P4 thus far. Hopefully, in qualifying, he's able to uh, position him uh, position himself a little bit more uh, more solidly to potentially make a run at the podium positions today. Coming down to uh, coming down to uh, V8 Irons in the Williams, uh, starting sector three with a 102.999. Coming around the uh, high speed high speed right hander, 
Uh, Veloce with a 133.188. Irons coming across the line with a 133.360, good enough for P3. Uh, riding on board with uh, plastic now. Plastic coming wide and invalidating. He's going to dive into the uh, pits and abort that lap. On board with uh, Kenzie Retro now in uh, Sector 2. Kenzie coming around with a 137.084. That's going to hold him in uh, P15. And looks like uh, plastic. Uh... No, they retired in the pits, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Right, I see where he has uh, retired out. And it looks like we've got a, uh, looks like for a moment we had a full course yellow. Not sure uh, quite what happened there. Uh, riding on with Beastian now. Looks like Beastian has uh, has invalidated that lap. On board with uh, Flavor. Z9, I'm in the final corner. Ah, uh, 1 minute 36, 9, 6, 9. It's a respectable, uh, respectable time for the, uh, time for the McLaren, for the McLaren. Uh, Kenzie being, Kenzie being another driver, uh, this season that has, uh, that has struggled to, uh, has struggled to qualify well. But has ultimately uh, has ultimately done uh, really good things in the race. And uh, Veloce now to uh, Veloce now to P2 with a 133.188. Uh, V8 Irons with a 133.140, uh, firmly cementing him into uh, into pole. Uh, Zola now retiring from the session with a 133.900, good enough for uh, P6. AKB coming up behind uh, Pure uh, PRUFC, um, hoping uh, uh, PRUFC does finally get out of his way. It looks like he may have potentially held him up on that uh, hot lap. Let's see, man. And AKB going to come around with a 134.619, improving by a tenth to uh, snag uh, P11. 
Uh, Giacomo, five seconds down on his time through uh, sector three. Not quite sure if the uh, back end stepped out, uh, stepped out on him somewhere in uh, sector two. Access the spot, got second with 1 minute 33, 176. Not a bad time from him, not a bad time from him at all, <laughs> by any means. One of, uh, one of his, uh, one of his better qualifyings that I've seen this season. Two drivers remaining to qualify are, let's see, uh, PRUFC still needs to uh, still needs to set a lap. As it stands right now, uh, the drivers in the drop zone. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. PRUFC was on a lap, but he must have invalidated somewhere. So it looks like the uh, drivers in the drop zone right now are going to be uh, Plastic Glove and uh, PRUFC. And uh, Flavor has retired out of the uh, Flavor's retired out of the session. Did he retire in the pits or did he uh, crash retired out? Retired in the pits. Quite see. Okay, I didn't quite see. Yeah. PRUFC invalidates again on his lap. Uh... And I am not quite sure if uh, I'm not quite sure if Flavor's going to be safe with there being always a. With there being only 16 drivers in the session, I'm not quite sure where the uh, I'm not quite sure where the uh, cutoff is for uh, drivers advancing into Q2. I think uh, he's safe, but don't quote me on that. I think it's uh, 15 below. That uh, that's it. That's normally with a uh, full load of drivers in session. We were we did start down by four. I think it just might be uh, sixteen golds out, or maybe fifteenth as well. Okay, and uh, PRUFC has retired from uh, session. I think he did. Uh, I think yeah. I think he did crash out. Yeah, he uh, he has crashed out. Yeah, in, oh, oh, yeah, hit on the, the pit, pit wall. wall. Yeah. I broke himself, I think. Yeah, yeah. Which is really, really, really easy to do with a really easy to do with that pit entrance. You've got you've got to have it uh, you've got to have it almost bang on, or you will hit the hit the wall every time. All right, three minutes remaining in uh, this qualifying session. Looks like our. Uh, Looks at this point like our drivers advancing are going to be Irons, uh, X hits the spot, Veloce, Lucky Dog, AKB, Ollie, Punitive Shoe, Zola, Mr. Shark, Beastian, CVT, Giacomo, and on the outside, uh, Kenzie, uh, Kenzie Retro, possibly, uh, possibly flavor as he did set a time but neither uh, plastic or uh, PRUFC set a time so they wet they will drop from this session I'm gonna ride on board with uh, punitive shoe as he's uh, on an out lap getting ready to uh, start what will be his final hot lap of the session Uh, Kenzie now saying in the stream chat that uh, PRUFC went way too fast into the uh, into the uh, pit entry, I believe.
Uh, punitive coming wide, nearly invalidating. Punitive up by a tenth of a second on the entry into uh, Sector 3. That could potentially, if he can hold on to this pace, could potentially put him into P6. And Punitive is going to take P6 with a 133.615, up almost two-tenths on his prior lap time. Come down to, uh, going to come down to Shark in uh, P9. Uh, Shark currently posting a 133.926, uh, uh, up uh, five-tenths off his previous time. And with the clock winding down on uh, Q on Q1, uh, there you have it, ladies. Uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, I believe the top uh, the top 14 drivers will advance, and uh, Plastic and uh, PR UFC will drop from uh, will drop from this session. And uh, just a reminder for those of you just now joining the stream, uh, you are watching the Extreme Racing League's development tier, round 15 at uh, Circuit of the Americas. Uh, my name is XRL Raptor. I'm joined in the commentary booth by Ocean Lion 8 If you haven't done so yet, uh, please give us a follow and a uh, subscription as well. And uh, Ocean, if you'd like, uh, go ahead and give us a uh, go ahead and go ahead and give us a rundown of the uh, qualifying times and drivers for the end of Q1 as we prep to go into Q2. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll start from the top. We got uh, VAR in, uh, in first. Um, okay, we got VAR Irons with one minute thirty three one four zero and Exodus of Spot with one minute thirty three one seven six. Then Exo of Veloce one minute thirty three one eight eight. Then uh Luc Dido with uh one minute thirty three two seven six. Then you got AKB with one minute thirty three four seven eight. Honey of Shu with uh one minute thirty three six one five. Ali with 1 minute 33, 6, 2, 7. XL Zola with 1 minute 33, 9, 0, 0. Uh, Mr. Shark with 1 minute 33, 9, 2, 8. And CVTX Mask 1 minute 34, 2, 0, 2. And, uh, well. So, uh, PRUFC, the only driver to get knocked out in Q1. As we head into Q2 now.
And it looks like uh, one of the Ferraris is going to be the first one out. And I believe uh, that is going to be the uh, Ferrari of uh, Mr. Shark. Uh, one of the uh, Haas coming out as well. Uh, there's only one Haas, so it would be uh, look de do I think. Uh, X hits the spot out now as well, as well as uh, Giacomo, uh, XRL Flavor, and uh, Lucky Doe out as well. Starting to see drivers uh, come out and experiment a little bit with the uh, medium tire compound. Uh, Shark crossing the line to uh, start his hot lap. Lucky crossing the line now as well. Uh, XRL flavor coming across the line now. Giacomo, Giacomo getting ready to cross the line. X hits the spot. Uh, CVTX mask crossing the line now as well. Oh, looks like uh, Pating and uh, always come off. Uh, and uh, X hits the spot. Gone. Yeah, oh, I saw what, that. What happened to X? What uh, I think he caught. I think he caught too much curb and spun into the wall. I was on board with him at the time. We're gonna get on board with. Uh, get on board with Shark as he comes through sector three. The uh, pair of McLarens crossing the line now. And uh, Shark is going to come across with a 133.891 to set the benchmark for the session. Uh, Lucky coming across the line with a 134.870. Uh, CVTX Mass. A uh, flavor jumping up there with a 134.289 on the soft tire compound. And uh, Zola jokingly saying in the stream <laughs> chat, well, uh, he hit the spot. That he did. Just not the spot he wanted to hit. Uh, CVTX Mask jumping to the top of the 132.762. Uh, lucky now up through almost four tenths of a second into uh, sector three. That, uh, that four tenths uh, may be enough, if he can shave a little more, it may be, in a, may be enough to jump him over, uh, over Kenzie Retro. Ollie now jumping in there with a 134.296, uh, Kenzie with a 134.641.
looking at uh, Lucky here. I'm going to call him for P4 this time around. And no, he's going to remain in uh, remain in P5. P5. Uh, riding on board with uh, Giacomo now, looking very fast coming into sector three. Very smooth through the final corner, and he's going to come across with a 134.265, good enough for P3. Coming down to uh, Punitive Shoe. I have Axel Valache with Roman S34573. And uh, Zola is just starting his lap behind him. We're going to go ahead and uh, ride on board with Zola, see what he's able to uh, do. He has yet to, say, yet to set a lap. <sighs> Excuse me. You're fine, you're fine. Yeah. Um, so Zola looking involved. Yeah, so Zola was looking a bit uh, was looking a bit tentative through uh, through sector two, looking like he may have had a bit of a uh, a bit of a traction issue there, that uh, that section notorious for being hard to uh, hard to get the hard the car uh, car hooked up and there's so many uh, so many changes in g-force so many different forces acting on the car so it's always a bit of a uh, troublesome spot for traction coming up to his uh, teammate uh, XRL Valache currently holding on to a 134 134.573 And it looks like Veloce is out of fuel. Riding on board with Punitive Shoe. Oh, Punitive Shoe has the back end step out on him. Riding on board with uh, Beastian in Sector 3. Beastian coming across with a 136.083, good enough for P10.
So and now for a minute, 34, 4, 5, 4, put him to 7th. Beastie in 9 tenths of a second up on his uh, lap, getting ready to uh, come into sector, in sector 3. Could we be seeing a potential run from uh, Beastie in here? And BC is going to come across for the 134.298, almost a full two seconds up for P6. Fabulous showing there from uh, BC. Uh, Plastic Love has well followed a dislap. Uh, AKB is also involved in his lap, and um, Beastian thinks disconnected. Uh, Zola holding on to P8 with a 134.454. Uh, CVT Mask has retired from the session with a 132.762. Feels like that's uh, strong enough to hold on to uh, hold on to pole. Uh, back end steps out on uh, AKB, uh, getting ready to come into sector to coming into sector three. Oh, and AKB nearly strikes the pit wall on entry. It's the second driver to uh, strike the pit wall today. Oh, and uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Shark uh, breaking uh, breaking loose on the uh, entry into Sector Three, uh, causing him to abort that lap. And uh, uh, now his uh, teammate go by. Now uh, riding on board with uh, Giacomo. Uh, Plastic Love will win at 34.273, that puts him up into 4th. I'm really interested to see, uh, see what Giacomo's going to do here. And Giacomo running wide, and I think he did, uh, I think he did invalidate there. And Giacomo with a 135.482, uh, full second and two tenths up on his lap, will not improve. And Ali now jumping into P2 with a uh, 133.086. Uh. And uh, V8 Irons now jumping to the top with a 132.729 to snatch pole away from CVT. Uh, upon it, she goes four for a minute thirty three four zero zero. Uh, Mr. Shark invalidated his lap. Oh, uh, uh, Zola now making one last uh, Zola making one last desperate attempt to break into the top ten. Uh, and risking, he's invalidated. Uh, Oh, un it's unfortunate for Zola. Very, very unfortunate for Zola. And uh, Kenzie Retro has been given a five-place grid penalty for a collision with uh, with Lucky. What is Kenzie doing? Almost coming into the path of uh, Zola. 
something happened, I don't know what happened. And look to those retired, don't know if that's on track or he just hit the wall. No, he's retired on track. Oh, oh, why? Why do drivers do this? Why? Now, uh, watch it goes 4, 4 minutes, 33, 106. You know, I, I, fa I fail to understand why drivers retire on track knowing that they could potentially be impeding other drivers that are on hot. That's, that's just one of, my, one of my biggest, biggest pet peeves when it comes to qualifying. All right, and it looking like the uh, drivers that are going to advance are going to be V8 Irons, uh, CVT Mask, Ali, XRL Veloce, Punitive Shoe, Kenzie Retro, uh, Mr. Shark, Giacomo, Plastic Love, and XRL Flavor rounding out the top 10 as we uh, get ready to proceed into Q3. Um, the uh, drivers eliminated are Level 6 Bishin, Luke Dido, XRL Zola, X is the Spot, and AKD. Just a uh, very, uh, very unfortunate situation for uh, for Zola, meaning he will, uh, meaning he will start P13. I had, I, I had high, I had high hopes that he uh, could have put himself in a position to potentially break the P4 curse. It may, it may, uh, it may still, it may still happen. He's just gonna have to work a lot. Uh, he's gonna have to work a lot harder now to get there. Um, Booty though also has a uh, five place grid panel A on top as well, so I think he'll be starting in the back. Let's take a look and see if we can figure out exactly what happened. Well, I mean, you can't really see if dig deep into it. Yeah, I was trying to look in the uh, trying to look in the race director and see if there was any way to uh, get an indication as to what could have possibly occurred doesn't look like we're going to be able to get that seems like Kenzie drove into Luke I don't know if gotcha gotcha don't know if Kenzie wasn't expecting it and he just accidentally drove into him yeah, but that uh, that grid penalty is now gonna that grid penalty is now gonna knock Kenzie down into a P P eleven start, and that's gonna knock Lucky down to the back uh, of the grid. Uh, we're still in. Q we haven't done Q three yet, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying as as a as it stay as it stands <laughs> right now. If uh, if Ke if Kenzie were to if Kenzie were to stay in P six through Q three, that would knock him down to uh, P eleven. And I think we may be having an issue with the we may be having an issue with the lobby here. Give me one second to see if I can confirm that. I think no, somebody's not pressing A, and I think we're going now. Uh, yeah, okay, I see where we are going. I'm going to take a momentary break. I will be right back. Okay. That's we're adding to key three. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Kenzie Ratchel retires from the session. Don't know what car that is. Then Alfa Romeo, that's uh, apparently a shoe coming out first. Followed by the uh, Ferrari of Mr. Shark and uh, Veloci also coming out with uh, V8 irons ahead of him. Uh, it's also Giacomo coming out of the pits as well. <coughs> Along with Plastic Love as well. That's how that's how Mr. Shark. Nice pla nice plastic. All right, and I am back. I uh, see the majority of drivers out uh, on their outlaps, uh, outlaps right now, uh, riding on board with uh, Plastic Love. Following Shark on his outlap. Let's go ahead and get some uh, telemetry up for you folks. Uh, punitive shoe to the top with a 133.100. Next across the line would be uh, V8 Irons, it's kind of like in the final corner now. Sets so a 1 minute 32, uh, 765 to go on pole for now. Uh, Vlachi with 133, 167 behind. Uh, Giacomo with 134, 787. DVTX Bass coming in the final corner. For 1 minute 32, 468. Mmm, mmm. Next one to come around the uh, Punny Shoe, but I think he's on an in lap. Ali's invalidate his lap. Does Mr. Shark as well. And Plastic Love. I think uh, Plastic Love was invalidated as well. Yeah. 
Uh, Next TA. Shark. Oh. Shark coming into the pit lane. Uh, following Flavor as he gets ready to uh, come into Sector 3. Flavor looking uh, really strong, looking really strong this lap. I'm going to go ahead and call him for P4. I think he's got the I think he's got the pace to uh, take P4 away from uh, Velace. Yeah, it's, uh, most drivers uh, coming to the pits now. Oh, oh, and flavor uh, spins. flavors around. Yeah. It's an unfortunate that's situation for Flavor. Yeah, that's also going to mess up uh, his lap. Oh, this lap right now. Ali's the uh, next driver to come around. Mr. Short coming out again. Ali come around the uh, final corner now. It's uh, a 1 minute 32882. And that's going to be good enough to uh, catapult him up into uh, P3. As uh, Giacomo comes into the pit. Last glove coming out of the pits. Flavor is gonna improve after that spin. And uh, Ali just going slow. Uh, Last glove from TRF and Mr. Short. Or on that one. Looks like uh, Plastic's trying to warm up his tires just a touch before he starts his run. And Mr. Shot now coming around to start his uh, flying lap. As uh, Giacomo comes out the pits. We're going to follow on board with uh, Plastic here for a little bit. Just under three minutes remaining in Q3. Uh, Mr. Shock invalidates his lap. Some drivers come out the uh, pits to go on uh, flying laps. Uh, Mr. Sh Mr. Shark coming around to go and now we fly up and validate his lap. Uh, plastic lap to start his lap now. Yeah, I'm also starting his lap behind. So far, um, Ali's the only one who's not coming out. 
out of the pits, but now he is coming out of the pits. Don't know if he'll have enough time to get behind the track, though. Let's see what uh, let's see what Shark's able to do here. <sighs> With one minute remaining in Q3, uh, drivers on track are Mr. Shark, Plastic Love, uh, Giacomo Flavor, Ollie, Punitive Shoe, Veloce, and... I believe that's it. Uh, via Irons and CVTX mask as well. Gotcha, gotcha. Basically, everyone out of Chuck. And Mr. Shark going to come across with a 133.786, good enough for P6. I think uh, Plastic invalidated at some point. That one is invalid. Oh, and uh, Flavor's around. Flavor, flavors around. yeah. As a CVTX mask improves on his time of 1 minute 32, 246. Yeah. Flavor, unfortunately, seeming to be uh, struggling here today at the uh, Circuit of Americas. Yeah, I suspect it is uh, hard to get perfect. Indeed, indeed. Especially, uh, especially in, a, especially with a full tank of fuel. In the uh, in my practices for the uh, XRRL race later this uh, later this evening, that's been a uh, that's been a bit of a uh, struggle point as well. And that's qualifying ended, we're just waiting for everyone to finish. Uh, Plenty of shoes has invalidated his lap. Plastic Love has also invalidated his one again, so he'll be uh, starting ninth. So as it stands, it's looking like our uh, it's looking like our qualifying grid is going to be uh, starting on pole. CVTX mask with a 132.246, uh, V8 irons with a 132.340, starting P2. Uh, Ollie uh, starting Ollie yeah. starting P3 with a 132.882, Veloce starting P4 with a 133.044. Uh, Punitive Shoe rounding out the top five with a 133.100. In six, uh, Mr. Shark with a 133.505. Giacomo with a 134.380 for P7. And uh, Flavor with a 142.710 for P8. Uh, Plastic Love and Kenzie Retro uh, not setting times this section, but they will round out the back of the grid in uh, P9 and P10. Uh, as you were saying, that CVTX mask improves on his pole time from 1 to 32, 164. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. So he's, uh, so he's now gapped uh, irons by nearly two tenths of a second. I think, uh, I think CVT is going to be the one to get the uh, getaway right off the start. And um, that's the end of qualifying. Indeed. So, uh, as, a, as it stands right now, only, uh, only one of my predictions in the, uh, in the top three. So this should uh, make things a little interesting. Uh, with that uh, grid panel, I think Kenzie will drop down to uh, 15 for 14. Uh, he'll, yeah, he'll, dry, he'll drop down to 15th, and that'll put him starting... Uh, That'll put him, put him starting uh, right next to uh, Lucky. So we wait for all the drivers to advance. 
They have a habit of not advancing. Ah, no, I know. It's annoying. You right. stuck there for like, what, five minutes? Yeah. Sometimes. Indeed. And for those of you that are just now joining the stream, um, I'm XRL Raptor. I'm joined in the commentary booth today by Ocean Lion08. You're watching the Extreme Racing League's development tier round fi round 15. I'm sorry, round sing. I'm sorry, round 16, actually. Wait, is it wait, is it round 15 or is it round 16? I'm sorry, um, round uh, round 15 at uh, Circuit of the Americas. Uh, we're getting ready to get started in just under five minutes' time. The uh, driver's on a break for the moment while they uh, while they set up their fuel and uh, tire strategies for today's race. Um, interesting, uh, interesting couple of rounds of uh, qualifying here. Ocean, if you want to go ahead and walk us back through uh, what's happened up to this point. Yeah, so we've had. Uh, well. All right, as these uh, as these drivers prepare, um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take a look huh. at the uh, current po uh, current points standings for the. Uh, for the dev league just to help bring you up to speed just a little bit uh holding on to the uh holding on to the points lead and points lead in dev right now is uh xrl zola with 122 points uh mr neon 713 with 93 uh cvt x mask with 73 veloce with 43 points for p4 Ali with 39 points for P5. Kenzie with uh, 33 points for P6. Uh, Manic Meerkat with 26 points. And Exposed Venom with 18 points for P8. Uh, Punitive Shoe and uh, Dad, St Dad Stop Gaming holding on to uh, P9 and P10 with 16 points each. Uh, Herbinator and P11 with 15 points. Level 6 Beastian in, t in 12th with 13 points. Uh, in 13th and 14th are Ross G2288 and uh, Herbago91 with 12 points apiece. In uh, P15 is Aaron Marr with 8 points. And uh, P16 is Aqua Ninja with 4 points. In uh, P17 is Switch Boris with 3. In uh, 18th, period PRUFC with uh, 2 points. Uh, XRL Lopez in P19 with 1 points, and uh, Woozy Emu rounding out the grid with uh, 0 points. In the uh, constructor standings, uh, uh, Ferrari holding on to uh, 220 points for P1, Alfa Romeo with 187 points for P2, Aston Martin with 174 points for P3, uh, Mercedes holding on to 151 points in P4, having a commanding lead over uh, Alpine in P5 with 100 points. Uh, Williams with 97 points in P6. Uh, Red Bull holding on to 89 points, just two points ahead of the uh, Haas F1 team with 87 points. Uh, five points over McLaren with 82 points. And uh, AlphaTauri rounding out the uh, constructors with 39 points in P10. And ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready to get underway. All the drivers formed up on the grid. Four lights, five lights. And it's lights out and away we go at the Circuit of the Americas. Coming into the first quarter now, uh... Oh, oh... Oh, massive, massive collision in the midfield. Uh, part of shoes dropping all the way down. XO Flavor is dropping all the way down as well. Don't know if he made a dive. I think he made a dive on turn one. Vlog shots got caught up in that incident as well. Um, Irons and CBT uh, Mask pulling out a 1.4 second gap across the, uh... Across the rest of the field, uh, Irons doing everything he can to set the pace. Uh, both uh, both Ferraris uh, trying to get an angle on uh, 
Trying to get a bit of an angle on uh, CVT. Yeah. Okay, our first corner as uh, Flavor also disconnected through that as well. Giacomo gets ahead of AKB. AKB gets ahead of Giacomo again. Uh, L6 Bishin gets past uh, Kanzi Bacho. And uh, some reason I'm not starting. Oh, Lucky Dog, Lucky Dog and Giacomo duking it out side by side. Go side by side coming into Sector 3. Oh, it looks like a little bit of contact between uh, Lucky and Giacomo there. Yeah. Giacomo going extremely wide coming into the uh, final corner. Oh, we're, oh, and they're going wheel to wheel and Lucky's going to get the position. Giacomo, Giacomo looking to fight back on the outside. But Lucky's going to hold him. Access the spot on uh, PRUSC or fighting for a camp. I think it is. Not just audio things again. But access to spot is now catching up to uh, Zola. Uh, Veloce and Kenzie Virtual pitting in the back, at the back. Oh, diving move to the inside. Next is going to take P9 from Zola. Zola's gonna tuck right in by tuck right in behind him, grab his uh, pour on the uh, pour on the ERS, may look for an inside move here. Zola gonna stick his nose in, but no, uh, looks like X hits the spot, it's gonna try to make a little bit of a move on uh, Giacomo. Giacomo's gonna defend very ni very nicely. Uh, Zola now looking on the outside. Uh, PR UFC looking to get a bit of a run on Zola. DRS has been enabled. Ali Judo looking to get a run on the Ali coming to the first corner. He's got AKB behind him. Oh, diving um, move by X hits the spot coming into the first corner. And Jacobo's just barely going to hold him. Uh, Vian's got a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. Uh, CVT, uh, CVT. Oh, the yeah, orange goes wide. And CVT is going to be our new race leader. Very pitched battle from P4 to P6. Always going to slide ahead of Plastic Love. But, uh, but Lucky's That's right true. there on the inside. Oh, a little bit of contact between he and Lucky. And, uh, Lucky's going to, uh, Lucky's going to slide back into... P5 got the DRS run on Ali. Is he gonna have enough to get there? And the answer to that question is gonna be yes. Oh, in contact, contact between Ali and Lucky. Oh, and there's uh, there's plastic right on the inside. Nearly the nearly three wide. Going into there, and Kenzie's gone. Uh. Yeah, Kenzie and Veloce, they've collided. And that's going to bring out a virtual safety car. Yeah. Well, the first three laps of this affair have been nothing if not exciting. And uh, Veloce, stopped, uh, Veloce stopped nearly dead on track. Uh, some guys pig now for new tires. Giacomo was on the hards, did on the mediums, AKB on And uh, Shark has now the received mediums. a drive through penalty for uh, speeding under virtual safety car. And we are back underway. Uh, closest battle on track right now is going to be between. Uh, actually, there's nothing really, really close.
We're gonna ride on board with our uh, race leader uh, CVT mask. And actually, uh, looking like uh, pure UFC trying to close the gap on X hits the spot under DRS and ERS. Aggressive move to the inside, and no, he's gonna hold back. He's gonna hold back for just a moment. Uh, Bishing closing up onto Flay for a calm down in the uh, straight. Is, he's uh, not gonna have enough to get past him. Looks for, looks for a moment like he was trying, it looks like he was gonna try for a move on the outside of him. UFC looking for uh, position on X hits the spot. X hits the spot, uh, closing in on uh, Plastic Love. I wish I don't think it'll be close enough to flavor to make a move into turn one. But he does anyway and goes very wide. Uh, um, unfortunate, unfortunate situation for him. Uh, X hits the spot, closing to within three tenths. And it looks like there's a little bit of cutting. Oh, contact between uh, X hits the spot and Plastic Love. Looks like uh, X caught some. Uh, X has caught a little bit of wing damage, missing that, uh, missing that right end plate. End plate. Pure UFC nearly running into the back of him. And uh, Pure going to get the edge on uh, X hits the spot, looking to uh, make a run on Plastic here. Uh, level 6 Beastian uh, making another run at uh, Flavor. It's going to go on the outside of him. And he's got him. Coming back up to uh, Pure UFC and Plastic fight for uh, P5 and P6 through the uh, through the fast right-hander. Looks like Plastic may be a little out of position. Goes wide. Goes very wide on the final corner. That could give uh, could give Pure UFC the run he needs. Uh, exits the sp exits the spot. Uh, coming into the pit lane. It's going to promote Zola into uh, P7. Uh, Velace receiving a three-second time penalty. V8 Irons also receiving a three-second time penalty for uh, multiple track violations. Uh, uh, AKB gets ahead of X's spots. Uh, well, he's paid anyway. Uh, Ali's got a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. PR UFC continuing to press Plastic Love going to the inside. A little bit of a little bit of contact under breaking. PR UFC looking to the outside, coming into the 90 degree 90 degree left hander, and he's going to get him. He's got him for P5. No really close battles on track at the moment. Uh, quick rundown. Yeah. Quick rundown of the time penalties. Uh, V8 Irons has uh, six seconds. Ollie with three seconds. Flavor with three seconds, and uh, Velace with three seconds as well. Uh, Mr. Shock is uh, pitting now. Uh, Lupti is closing up onto uh, Flavor. Come around the final corner. Uh, Lucky making a run on uh, Flavor on the outside into turn one. And he's got him. Hey, he's got him. Oh, Giacomo's around. Giacomo's around into the inside wall. And very, very unsafe rejoin from him as well. Uh, he's locking out to uh, crash out. 
you know, he's, uh, you know, so he's lucky that uh, extra spot didn't hit him. I punish you, has got a three second time penalty for multiple warnings again. Solar may be looking up to uh, close that gap to Plastic Love. Apart from that, that's really the only close battle. As Plastic Love goes wide there. She's allowing Solar to close up on to him and he goes wide at the final corner again. Uh, Zola having a look at Plastic for P5. He's coming on the outside and he's got him. No, uh, no got he him. does have him. Lucky having a bit of a look at uh, Bastion. Bastion, uh, Bastion does nicely to uh, hold him behind. But uh, Lucky's going to get him under DRS. Uh, interesting battle at the Park nearly with uh, X as a spot, AKB and X as well flavor. And, like it's gonna be interesting. Oh, flavor, uh, flavor squeezing, uh, squeezing AKB a bit. Oh, contact between AKB and flavor. Yeah, as uh, Mr. Charlie gets out of plastic love through pits, uh, flavor dives into the pits now. As well. Okay. And uh, X now going to take a little bit of a run at AP AKB, going to dive to the inside, and he's got him. He's got on PRUSC, he's got a 3 second time penalty now, but AKB seems he's going to fight back with Texas to spot, coming to the asses. It's a very good battle right now. That it is, that it is. X hits the spot, uh, fighting back now. Biding, uh, biding his time, waiting for the right opportunity. Uh, front wing right underneath the gearbox of that Honda for a moment. I um, make the move uh, on the outside, and he's got yeah. him. Got him comfortably there. Indeed, indeed. These, uh, these two guys have been fighting back and forth over the uh, first ten laps of this thing. Yeah, very good ball there. Uh, All and Pure UFC are pitting. Zola now up into P3. Looking for, uh, looking for Zola to break the uh, P4 curse today. AKB and uh, Ollie in a bit of a scrap back here. Side by side through the S's. Uh, Flavor gets ahead of uh, Plastic Love. 
is uh, I think he's sp plastic. I think plastic spun because he's got no front wing. He's got to do an entire lap of lines now. Oh, it's very, very unfortunate situation for him. Uh, Ali's gonna look to make a move on and he's, AKB, and, and, and he's he got does. him like he's not even there. Oh, but AKB fights back. Yeah. But uh, Ali's got DRS. Watch it coming into this turn, uh, weaving very dangerously towards him. Uh, past got a few seconds as uh, Ali uh, completes the move comfortably on AKB. Yeah, the only the only problem is we get onto the uh, we get onto the main straight. Uh, Ali's going to be a sitting duck on the uh, hards compared to uh, compared to AKB's already uh, already warmed up and scrubbed in medium tires. Uh, Ali fighting to get those uh, that hard tire compound to warm up. Oh, a little bit of a twitch from uh, Ali as seen from uh, the cockpit of AKB. Yeah, he's going to get caught out with DRS here. Or is he? Ollie's seeming to do very well to uh, hold pace against him. Coming back up to our leader, uh, CVT Mask, with a very comfortable lead over uh, V8 Irons of 14 seconds. Uh, Zola, 14 seconds behind him. Uh, Veloce now receives a three-second time penalty for multiple uh, multiple warnings. We'll take a look at the uh, penalty count back here real quick. Uh, V8 Irons with six seconds. Uh, Zola with three seconds. Uh, PRUFC with three seconds. Ali with three seconds. Uh, Punitive, level six, Flavor, Giacomo, all with three seconds. Uh, Plastic and uh, Veloce with six seconds. Uh, Plastic and Veloce also a lap down. Giacomo now receiving um, a three-second yeah. time penalty. Uh, Plastic is pitting again after he got front wing damage. Uh, no battles right now, but look to those seems to be closing up onto uh, Mr. Shark. Coming on to the main straight. We have a uh, battle heating up here. X hits the spot with the fastest lap of uh, 136.299 for Alpine on the uh, medium tire compound. Uh, 12 laps into this uh, 28 lap affair. Definitely looking interesting. Uh, Lucky looks like he's got the run on. Uh, looks like he's got the run on Shark. I think the move's going to come at the uh, top of the hill here. My coming coming into uh, this um, to the corner, onto the long straight. Now he's gonna save he's the high wait Just a hair. He's gonna wait till he gets DRS. It's gonna come at the end of the DRS. That's where it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen at the end of the DRS straight. He's got the run. He's gonna pull to the inside. Is he gonna try to take him on the outside? And he's got him. Uh, Mr. Shaw gets a few second time penalty. Looks like he was trying mm. to come wide to avoid a collision, avoid a possible collision with him. Shark now dropping back to almost a second behind. And uh, Irons has come into the uh, pit lane as well to go to the medium tire compound. And that's promoted uh, Zola up into P2. Show oh, Shark and Irons having a little bit of contact.
PRUFC pulling up on the back of uh, V8 Irons. Uh, soft tire compound versus medium tire compound in the battle in P5 for P6. Irons right under the gearbox of Shark coming on the outside. And, oh, Irons fights back, says no. Yeah, PRUFC is uh, closing up now on Mr. Shark and via Irons. Uh, it's looking to make a move, but I would make a move there. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and follow that battle from uh, battle from P6. Looking forward to uh, Shark and Irons. Uh, PR uh, coming. the spot has also joined the battle as well. Oh, s oh, Irons is off, and uh, Mr. Shark's gonna dive into the pit lane, and that is so gonna be Irons as well. And that is going to put Lucky uh, one. By, that's going to put Lucky 1.2 behind Zola to uh, 1.2 behind Zola to challenge him for P2. Uh, Zola has closed the gap to uh, CVTX Mask down to 7.2 seconds, holding on to P2. Uh, Zola on 13 lap old medium tires compared to uh, looks like something might have happened to uh, Looks like a little something might have happened to uh, Zola here as he dropped like a stone to uh, Lucky Oh That plastic glove has spawned now and just Safety car is deployed now. Give me just one second here. I need to take care of something real quick. Okay. Oh, we have a safe car of Ross. She goes into the pits. Uh, CBT X Mass doesn't. Plastic Glove goes into the pits. Uh, Zola and Luktido go into the pits as well. Punish shoes. Got three to contain. Probably four for warnings. Uh, PRUFC access the spot. Go into the pits. So everyone, everyone coming in under the uh, under the uh, full safety car. Uh, AKB Punish Shu also coming in now. Uh, followed by oh, Mr. Shark. He's going to continue. The Iron Suit now with three seconds, and V Irons is retired. The session. Oh, V is crashed out. Uh, well, unfortunate situation for him. Yeah. And Zola has dropped down to P6 as a result of the safety car. Uh, we've had a little bit of a shuffling at the front of the grid. Uh, CVT, uh, CVTX Mask, uh, Ollie 89, and uh, Lucky now your top three. Followed by uh, PRUFC and P4, X hits the spot P5, Zola P6, uh, Shark P7, AKB P8, Punitive Shoe P9, Flavor in P10, uh, BC in P11, uh, Giacomo in P12, uh, Irons and Kenzie are both out, and uh, Veloce and Plastic are going to be in 13th and 14th. Yep. And uh, Velace has been given a five-second penalty for ignoring yellow flags. Uh, yeah. And uh, Plastic has been given a five-second time... Uh, well, Ollie's Ollie. been given a five-second time penalty for uh, collision with plastic. Uh, we just check. Uh, I think plastic might have one as well. No, plastic and does not uh, have. 
Velace attempting to uh, overtake the safety car. Uh, Velace has got to be real careful that he doesn't get dis uh, that he doesn't get disqualified for that. I think a lot car can uh, legally pass the safety car. I don't know. Oh. It's uh, the ga the game has been notoriously twitchy about allowing it versus not allowing it. I've seen. Uh, I've seen drivers get disqualified for uh, for attempting it. Yeah, as we just wait for uh, more drivers to catch up to the field, or we'll see if the car can go in. Looks like we're waiting on two drivers to uh, go ahead and catch up with the uh, with the field. We'll be able to get underway. Uh, CVT going to be controlling this uh, safety car restart. Uh, when it happens. With just 12 laps remaining to go in this race, a little bit past the halfway point. Looking like a uh, safety car could potentially be in uh, next lap. We're going to go ahead and ride on board with uh, Zola for the restart. Uh, real quick look at the uh, time penalties as they stand right now. Uh, we have Ali with eight seconds, uh, PRUFC with three seconds, Zola with three seconds, Shark with three seconds, Punitive Shoe with six seconds, Flavor with three seconds, Beasting with three seconds, Giacomo with six, Veloce with 11, and Plastic with six. Zola working to get those tires warmed up. And safety car um, is coming in this lap. Yep. yep. Well, she's still a little bit behind, but I'll catch up. He'll, uh, he'll, he'll catch up by the time the safety car comes in. Yeah, Plastic's still stuck behind a couple of drivers. It's actually gonna have to. Well, the uh, the advantage the advantage for Velace is that is gonna give him a good that is gonna give him a good run at the back of the field. So he'll be uh, he'll be unimpeded and won't be able to overtake by the time the safety car comes to the line. And uh, Velace has now caught up to the uh, back of the field, sitting on the uh, sitting on the back of uh, Giacomo. And as they come around the final corner, safety car is in, and we are back underway. Yeah, Plastic Glove going to let everyone by now. 
Oh, Dacomo. oh. Oh, Zola coming very aggressive against X hits the spot. Looking, looking, looking for his move. Oh, Giacomo. He's gone into the wall. Oh, and Giacomo's out. That could potentially bring out another safety car. Happy ufc has got three seconds. Zola with a good run on X. Is he going to make the move to the inside? Yes, he's going to make the move. Matt Booth's up at the fifth now. Come on, Zola. X fighting back on the outside. Does he have him? He's got the little bit of an edge in speed, but he's going to have to... He's going to have to pull a massive braking move, and Zola is going to hold it. He's in much better position coming into the right-hander. That worked out beautifully for Zola. CVT now posting the fastest lap of the 135.916. Uh, Zola with the run on pure UFC. Going to break to the inside. Just past him as well. Uh, oh, oh. Is the spot is pitting. No, PR is going to get him. Uh, PR is going to get him on the exit. But, uh, but Zola still set up wonderfully to make another run on him. Just over nine laps to go. This race certainly heating up. Uh, coming back to AKB and Shark. Lucky making a run on Ollie on the outside. Nose to nose coming into the turn. Who's going to outbreak who? And it's looking like Lucky's going to get him for P2. Oh, contact between Lucky and Ollie. Looks like Ollie got his uh, Ollie got a bit of his nose in there. The battle from uh, P3 all the way back to P5 definitely heating up. Uh, Zola closing to within two tenths of uh, UFC. Uh, Flavor gets past that uh, beast chin. Uh, DBTX mask is fast as lap now from the 35-5-9-3. DRS is enabled. So uh, Zola won't Egg. get it this lap, but he will get it next lap. It could be uh, closing up onto uh, Mr. Shark now. Zola milking that Aston Martin machine for all it's worth against the, uh, against the, uh, Williams. Williams. Oh, thank you. And, uh, Veloce is gone. Veloce is gone at the back. I'm past the glove went at the back. I'll see if I can get how he's gone from, uh, uh, access to the spot. Uh, PR UFC making a run on Ali. A little bit of contact. A little bit of contact. Zola near Zola nearly colliding with him. Ali uh, Ali was in a bit of a uh, awkward position there. Uh, Punish. She was looking to make a move on uh, AKB, but didn't AKB stick? Oh well. Data had. Uh, always got the three second hour. time penalty. Yeah. That's a second. If the uh, if the positions stay as they are right now, Zola is going to be guaranteed a uh, Zola is going to be guaranteed P3, which is going to put him on the podium. Oh, nice move! Nice move from uh, Zola against Ali to go ahead and take P4. 
Yeah, Ali's on 14 seconds of penalties now. Uh, Flavor is paying for softs at the back. Uh, looking to Ali go for the fastest lap as X is the spot, gets the fastest lap. Yeah, Ali looking to fight back <laughs> against Zola. I'm not sure, not sure he's going to be able to do anything with 14 seconds of time penalties. Uh, riding with uh, CVT up at the front, uh, six second gap opened up on Lucky. From uh, Lucky back to uh, PRUFC, 1.5 seconds with uh, PR. PR UFC has six seconds of time penalties. I think it's uh, very safe to say at this point that uh, Zola is going to be a shoe in for P3, barring anything, uh, barring anything catastrophic uh, happening. Uh, Plastic Love's got a few second time penalty as well. Uh, AKB uh, point seven back from uh, Mr. Shark. She's got a three second time penalty. Uh, Zola looking to make a move on PR UFC on the main straight. Got DRS. He's step out to the inside and yep. he's got him. Yeah, he's got him by a lot. Just needs to keep the position. Uh, 1.5 seconds to uh, look at the bill now. Uh, Punish shoot is pitting at the back. Yeah, UFC's got a uh, three second time penalty. Yeah, Mr. Shark. Uh, closing up onto Ali as Pascal gets a three second time penalty. Yeah. Another one. He's on no. 12 seconds now. No, I'm not quite sure why uh, PR UFC is trying to. Uh Trying to trying to fight Zola here with only six seconds to go and nine seconds of nine seconds of time penalties. Zola staying uh, significantly ahead of him. He does, however, have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a DRS run on him, going to the inside. And it looks like Zola's going to hold him. Yeah, uh, PRUFC has got watch for for uh, Ali, Mr. Shark, and AKB up behind them. Uh, following this battle from uh, P6. It's looking interesting because this battle guys so always uh, going back a little from uh, look to do at the f in second, but still he's going to get a podium. <laughs> uh, CBT Express got seven seconds on look to do now. Ali closing up onto PR UFC. He's not got. He's not got enough to make the move there into turn one. <laughs> uh, going downhill a bit into the S's. Ali's Ali got three seconds second time so penalty. PR UFC. So is PR, PR UFC as well. Um, Ali's got to be careful as he's nearing disqualification. Yeah, Pierre UFC's in 12 seconds. Punish, she's also in 12 seconds. Pastor Gloves in 12 seconds as well. So uh, Zola is Zola's absolutely under Z no threat at this point. Yeah, Zola's on 3 seconds. Uh, so is that was suspicion on uh, Flavor. I don't know if uh, at this point, but right under 12, AKB, due to penalty count back. Uh, Zola, Zola may actually have a shot the way uh, the way he's running. He may have a shot to uh, close that gap to uh, Luki Do and uh, possibly get a uh, possibly get a couple seconds gap on him. Because I, I I've noticed that uh, Luki seems to be uh, falling off the last couple of laps. That uh, gap's slowly starting to close up. Let's take a look at uh, tires here real quick. Uh, Mr. Shark and Ali. Ali's closing up onto PRUIC. Mr. Shark closing up onto Ali. Now Ali runs wide at the final corner. They've all got DRS. Coming to the first corner. Got Shark with the run. Uh, not, not gonna have enough on Ali there. <laughs> okay. He'll, uh, he'll probably have him on the back DRS straight. 
So yeah, yeah, probably I mean, have them there. We got you got to figure uh, hard tires against mediums. Ollie with the run on UFC. Breaking to the inside. Uh, carefully stays behind there because he's going to get DRS and slip you on the main straight. But yeah, so what's for Mr. Sharp behind them? Mr. Sharp going to go down the inside of Ollie into the, into the turn there. Oh, Very contact, close. contact. Bad contact there, I think. Pure USC. Looking to make a move on. Oh, massive contact. Yeah. Oh, what, what the? What was that? Oh. Absolutely no. Too much. Absolutely. Got too much. Yeah. Absolutely no reason for that. Absolutely none. Uh, Mr. Shark maybe got a bit too much on. Uh, Ali not causing him to spin now and maybe ruin his chances of a podium. Although they were ruined the seventy second And so. that and that has uh, that has all but uh, that has all but secured a uh, that has all but secured a uh, podium position for. I uh, saw. So. Actually, no. AK uh, AKB may uh, AKB may still have a shot at him. Uh, Ali got five second time power for speeding in the pit lane. He's on 22 seconds now. Zola Zola has got to push that gap between him and AKB out by about another second if he wants to uh, secure the uh, if he wants to secure P3 with his uh, with his time penalty. He's got to do everything he can to push that gap. Barring uh, barring AKB catching a time penalty because that gap right now sitting at roughly roughly 2.1 seconds he needs to push that out by another second and he's got a, his guy he's got his podium with three laps to go no pressure right <laughs> uh, that would be no lot of pressure. Zola now pushing that gap out to almost two seconds. Yeah, their UFC is coming onto the back of it nearly. Yeah, Zola. Not really much. Not Zola, really much action. Okay. Yeah, Z Zola right <laughs> now. New Zola right now needs to push the pace, and he needs to push the pace hard. Yeah, not really much uh, action around the grid apart from this right now. Oh, he's dies down towards the end of the race. <laughs> but barring uh, barring anything catastrophic happening to uh, CVT or Lucky, uh, I think CVT is going to walk with this one. AKP is all might is gonna get a podium out uh, this way. It should stay within three seconds of Zola. So uh just don't make a move from pure UFC. Pure UFC Dalvan It's not enough. Uh access to the spot gets ahead of uh, Mr. Shark. AKB a little bit squirrely on the exit may give uh, Zola the opportunity he needs here. That gap now up to almost two and a half seconds. Yeah. He just needs a little more. Just a little more. With two laps to go. It's at uh, 2.1 seconds. I think under set under two seconds. Gap at uh, one point seven. Oh, so it goes a bit over the corner there. Lost his momentum. 
Mm. There's also all the momentum there. <laughs> that's close to... Yeah, that's put down the gap to uh, 1.1 seconds, I think that is now. I can't really tell. We're a little bit over that now. AKB burning up every bit of AKB burning up every bit of uh, ERS he has to try to keep that to try to keep that gap where it is. And Zola's down to P4. Yeah, as I was happening, Ali and Plus Glove got three second time penalties. Mm. Uh, Plastic on 15 seconds, Punny Shoe on 12, Flavor on 3, so is level 6 Beachin on 3 as well, Ali on 20, This is Shark on 3, Zola on 3, and Pure UFC on 12. Final lap coming around the final, second to last corner, coming around the final corner, AKB trying to make the run. Zola's going to drop down to P5. AKB just needs to uh, hold this position, not make any mistakes now when he's got a podium. Zola pouring it on, trying to get the run on AKB. Not gonna get it. Oh, and Bishin's out. Oh! Same place as, uh... Kenzie, uh... Giacomo, I don't know what it was. Punish, she's got another 3 second time penalty. Oh, he's actually on the edge of that corner there and the CVTX mask comes across the line to take first place look at it all now coming across the line to take a well deserved second place pure UFC comes across the line now he's gonna drop all the way to there oh Six Zola, as Zola's gonna drop down to P5 next is the spot is up to uh, P4 AKB in third uh, Mr. Shark now coming around the final corner to take seventh. Mm, my Ali oh right my. now. Ali coming around the uh, final couple of corners and goes into the pits. Uh, don't know why. It's a uh, flavor. Comes around the final corner. To take eight. To take eight. Punish his shoes. Gonna take tenth. And plastic. plastic come home for eleventh. No, come home twelfth because uh, we should finish ninety percent of the race. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And uh, that's your race. Hmm. Well, definitely a uh, definitely a very interesting affair here today uh, for Zola. Unfortunately, the uh, curse of the fourth continues. Yep, unfortunate for him. All right, we're gonna try to uh, get CVT in here real quick. Mm -hmm. I'll go over your uh, race um, finish places right. now. We'll get uh, Zola yeah. in here as well. 
So the 16th we've got Kenzie Retro, VA Irons in 15th, 14th Giacomo, 13th Veloce, who all retired as well, Plastic Glove in 12th, Level 6 Beachin in 11th, Planet of Shoe in 10th, Ali in 9th, Axel Flavor in 8th, Mr. Shark in 7th, PRUFC in 6th, Axel Zola in 5th, Exit Spot in 4th, AKB in 3rd, Lupti Do in 2nd, and your race winner, CVTX Mask. Indeed, absolutely fabulous uh, showing from CVT today. Led the uh we had the majority of the race. Uh, looks like we're not going to be able to get our uh, get our interviews in here, unfortunately. Um, Ocean, do you have anything before I uh, before I close the broadcast down? No, I have nothing. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you've been watching the Extreme Racing League's uh, development tier season five, round fifteen at uh, Circuit of the Americas. Uh, make sure you join us next week for Mexico. Uh, my name is XRL Raptor. I was joined in the commentary booth today by uh, by Ocean Lion 08, and we are out of here.